All right, for the next page, I really like an activity that I did recently in my Christmas Magic album. So, um, but I really want to make the size of a nice photo mat. So, what I am going to do is make it the right size first for the photo mat. So what I'm going to do is, well, I can cut this at the right size so I have a nice black edge. I think that will go first. Yes, then we are going to make a fold line. Then we're going to make this a perfect fit and then make a mark and then make another fold line. Then we are going to fold this double of course. Then we want to make another fold line, so I'm going to make a mark. Now we can cut this down. And fold this again. Okay, so now we have this and these are just perfect fitting. Okay, perfect. So let's do that again because we need two of these. And let's first do some tape on. So the first one is really ready. Okay, so this is what we have. Two hinges, two flippity flops, and a fold piece. Yes. Okay. Do another one. And now I'm going to measure exactly the same thing as this one. So we have two exactly the same. This is what we need. Anyway, let's cut this. And if you are hearing some machines on the background, that's because, again, they are working on the road. And I, at least it takes two months, so, God. But. The good thing is, they start at the beginning of the road, so I think we are the first one who are done with all the machines. I hope so, at least. And then the last piece we can cut off. Alright, putting some tape on. There we go. 
Okay, so this is the base. We have two, and these two need to go on another page. So let's grab another piece. Um, I don't think, nope, they don't fit. And now uh, we can choose what we want on the height. So let's say I want this. I want this. Well, I want this a little. Do I want it a little bigger? It can. It would be nice. Oh, wait, wait. Um. No, it's getting. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's getting on this page so I think it will be better if I make this just a little yeah I'm going to make this a half inch higher than this is so yeah you can measure if you want So this is six, one, two, three of an eighth, and so let's make this seven. Seven still fits. Yeah, let's make this seven inch. The seven inch is about eighteen centimeters. So, so yeah, okay. So that is cool. So now we can apply the first one on, yeah, let's do that. Um, wait, 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 we need a flippity flop. Yes, we do. We want this to make a nice pocket, so we are definitely want a flippity flop almost forgot go so now we have the left side and now we can apply the first piece and perhaps you already see what page we are going to do and I call it the surprise pocket. So, and I'm trying to make it just a little different than the first one in my Christmas album. And you are going to see what's different. Okay, grabbing the next piece. And this one is going to be exactly on the opposite side. And this one really goes well to this piece. So, there we go. All right. So this piece we need now to score and cut the rest off. So I'm trying to get as close as possible. And then we can cut this. On. All right, cool. Yeah, now we need a piece that fits on this area. 
So, okay, again. <laughs> A piece that is not fitting. Nope. <coughs> so we need one piece on top of this one. And on top I don't make another pocket, so I'm just <coughs> cutting this down. So sorry, just a little this side. Yep, and now this size exactly the same. <coughs> well, let me have a drink. Otherwise it won't go away. Okay, then this goes exactly on top of this piece. Now I am wondering, because this is not quite... And I hope this don't get in the way when we open it up. So what I'm going to do is, why is this, this is not, here below it's perfect, but here it's just rubbing against each other, so let's just do the finger cross, everything is flat. Wait and see what happens. So I am going to glue this down. This must be as flat as possible. Fingers crossed, I am starting at the bottom, looking for my corners to be straight, then I'm seeing if I'm straight up, and then I'm just pushing it down, and keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, now let's see, wow, it does it, yep, it does, yep, perfect. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so this is how it looks. <laughs> we love it, it's so cool. Alright, so um, yeah, now we only make one pocket because we are going to uh, put the photo mats on here and then uh, let's see what we can do. So this is going to be in the middle and the top and the bottom we put some nice decorative piece and we have a big pocket in here, just one, just one big pocket. And then this is just for photos and this goes up and down like that. So in the Christmas album it went like this, but in this album I want it this way. Okay, so um, you can decide if you want this in the middle or well, this is the right side, this is the flip of the flop so I really want my pocket on the right side because I'm right handed, it's easier so perhaps it's nice to put first a um, 
design paper on then put this on top and yeah I think we do that but I really like first this always like this hope it does with the tape oh that was very tricky but it does it oh good one yeah like that all right so i'm going to search for a nice background paper and then yeah let's do some decoration okay stay tuned okay before i go on with my uh, measuring is i cut out a full design paper and i will leave it because i want to put this later on and now i'm going to apply my pocket my surprise pocket crazy name but okay <laughs> i just like it okay i am going to use a little extra tape for the bottom and some extra glue so it will attach really 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 well And then I'm going to apply this Oop, nice in the middle, just around everywhere a nice edge, so it will be nice in the middle. Alright, that's it, and then the decoration can start. Perfect, so we have a big pocket here and then this flips down for the pictures and this flips open for the pictures. Cool. Yeah, like it. So I am going to decorate it and I will be back in one second. Okay, before I go further with my design uh, paper, I... Um, I was thinking in my Christmas album, um, all pages are going on top of this, so I, it does not need any closure for this, but it will comes up, so um, it needs a closure. So what I came up with is I cut a little piece in this back paper and I put some lace in. and. Now I am done with um, um, the size of the ribbon and I'm going to place some tape on the back so it will seal my cutting piece so it won't go anywhere so this is really nice and tight so when this page is ready I can tie it up with a nice bow so that's always easy when things keep steady. Well, make the bow later. <laughs> but anyway, um, then I was thinking perhaps it will be nice to do uh, a nice pocket on top because it won't go anywhere. So I think, yeah, I think that will be nice to make a small pocket. So let's see what we have for the leftovers. Oh, this is really small. Well, this size is better. Yeah, this is, this one is better. So, yeah, it's just easy, of course. Just making first flippity-flop. Then, me <laughs> then measuring where the end will go. Really, really easy. And I think it will do a nice touch to this page because like I always say you never can have enough pockets to put something in and I'll cut this piece off and there we go there we go with the pockets 
see that was pretty easy. Now glue it down. Don't forget the bottom. Because we don't want our tag to fall out. Okay, and then just glue it down. Here we go. See, so easy it can be. You think of something and you do it. Okay, so yeah, let's search for a nice decoration and then uh, I'll come back to you <laughs> again. <laughs> I always come back to you guys. I never leave you. <laughs> blah, blah. Alright, and um, let me show you the end result of my um, surprise pocket page. So, okay, um, the closure is the ribbon, so we untied it and on top we made a big pocket with a nice tag. And on here we made a big tag and on the back some place for photos. And then, then the surprise is of course this flips down with four of the photo mats and this flips up with the four photo mats. So yeah, I really like it. So this ties up. And let's go to the next page, the last page. Okay. Yep. All right, um, for the next page, I already cut out my base design paper and I thought it would be fun to using some envelopes. Let's play with some envelopes and they are really, really nice to use because it's really easy and you don't have to use your... Um, your black cardstock. So if you have those or in another color, you just go to decide what you want to do. Do you want them um, all the way around? Like this. Just playing around, just see how this goes. But I already like it. So I think this is really funky, a funky way, and then they all can open. And oh well, yeah, let's do that. Let's go crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the flap for wrapping it around my base page. Now I'm going to use my design to nicely do this. So yeah, let's play, let's go wild, let's play a little, nice and tight all the way around, okay, and we all, uh, we can see what we do later on it, do we want this for the opening or do we want to close this and make it here open, we can decide that later, I'm just going to put some envelopes on and then I decide what I want. So I'm just leaving a little opening here and I'm just going to put them all on. Let's go wild! Yep, and then I want the same space. Just see how it goes. See how this goes. And then the last one I want. And again, I am just leaving exactly the same space as I did all the way around. Yeah. Really going to make a fat page. Here we go. Okay. 
Oh, cool. Now before we are going to continuing with um, placing design paper on, you really have to consider where you want your closure because this is going to be falling down of course. So the top needs to close on something and I think I want, if I can, I want the closure, where shall we put it? I think it can be on this page. This I think it's just too short. Or we can put it on this. But I think it will close better. Or on two sides. That's also a possibility. What do you say? Oh, I think first on this page. Let's do that. See, I have one magnet here already. So I'm first going to do a magnet on here. And then of course I need another one. I think I need, I want one more, so it will be more steady. And I think four magnets on one page is not much. Gosh, it sticks really well. <laughs> okay, then see where this goes. This tape is really a good one. So I am going to remove my little piece of tape and then I am pushing this down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this will stay everything nice down. So what we have is down to the left and up and here. What do you think? Well, I think I really like that. So now you can do anything what you want with the envelopes. So let's start with the first one, the eye catcher. What do we want? Let's see. Let's make a little space. This is going to be down. So I don't want to... Shall, yeah, why not? I can make a top pocket out of this we can then we first go yeah let's do that so what we do is we cut this open and you can use your um, cutting machine but your scissors can open this also just a little slightly piece off. Now I always check if the corners are perfectly glued down and normally they are not and that's no big deal of course but we can glue this down if my glue is open. Okay, I want this to shut down. Okay, yes, okay, so now we have a big pocket, but we need to close this, but we do that with design paper. So let's grab a piece, I'm going to use my 6x6 papers for this one. Let's put away the ATG, so I'm going to measure the right size of course I 
There we go. Um, just a little, 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 little tiny piece up, and then we can glue it down. Okay, so now peel this off. Okay, so now what we do is we glue the edges one, two, three, and yes, of course, keep it just as close as possible. This is going to be on this side. Now, I don't want to glue all this down because otherwise, you're going to shut down your pocket. That's no, that's a big no no. We don't want that. So, I'm going to apply my glue around here and some on here okay that's enough that will do it okay so oh let's say oh yeah this one is better okay glue it down so now we have closed the pocket did it correctly then now we have let's say do we have a long piece oh let's use this one so now we can all the way down as you see see we can all the way down so we can make a nice tag in here cool okay so now we go to the front and let's decorate this. But I want to do something on the front with these little things. I want I want them to tuck in these little nice tags. So well, not all, but I definitely want to do something on the top. And I think only uh, cut out. So you don't need. Um, shall we? Yeah, we well, shall. We do need the same one really like to be just a little simple so um, let's cut this first and before I glue it down I'm going to see I don't know what that is what that is. just a little touch but this is way better so now I have got my design paper but I want some tuck spots for these little nice tags so what I'm going to do is grab my cutting plate my little cutting plate and I go to make a few incisions so on the bottom we don't need that um, high so what do you think about here so I'm going to cut and I just keep away what do you think one and a half would be enough so I'm going to cut and also stay away one and a half on this piece so yeah, that's my first incision and I always love using a little cut out with my crocodile. Alright, yeah, cool. Um, it could be and uh, I would love doing that just a slightly just a teeny mini tiny piece off so your pocket is easier to get in okay I hope you can see that but it's really really a small a small piece so it's easier okay and now I'm going to make another one Let's see, this one will fit for these little small things, but I like, let's see, are these all, 
Oh, these are all small ones. So I think I will do only the small one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can make a larger one because I still have these. Yep, I want the larger one too because I also have the bigger tags. So the same thing is um, keeping this straight and then well just go a little higher. I think about here and then also stay away one and a half centimeter away and then make just a slightly incision right along and then a little round piece that gives us a nice cut okay that is really 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 easy and really handy so let's put this on so now you only have to put some glue on the sides of course not in the middle only on the side and for the top pocket I glue to the top of the pocket Here we go, really simple. So now we can put, let's say, I want to put this in here and a few little ones below. I always like this, cool. Okay, yes, so the first one is done. And of course, we need to make a nice tag for in. Okay, so this is, um, yeah. Shall we do the, f the next one together? Or do you think, well, let's do it together. Let's see what this, this one would be great to have a insert on this side. So, yeah, let's do it together. Let's go crazy. All right. Um, okay, what I did was exactly the same thing as the square envelope i made one incision because we have a magnet on top of here so i don't want to make it any bulk otherwise we will leave the strength of the magnet so um, i cut out this envelope open so i can put a nice atc card from the collection and then on the back i just put some design paper on but now we are getting at the third one and um, this one is going up and I think it's not pretty easy to put an envelope on the uh, not an envelope uh, putting a tag on top so perhaps for this one it's easier to make an incision on this side what do you think I think it will it will be yeah so what I'm going to do is cut this open uh, now I'm not going to use my um, let's put this back I'm not going to use my scissor for this piece because it's hard to get by and now this is also not easy <laughs> I am right handed so I am going to cut right along on this piece okay so I'm going to cut it open and I really want to be as gentle as possible I think I am going to use my scissor 
there we go. Now really be careful for this last piece. So I'm going to put first design paper on this piece so it closes everything down before I'm going to put any um, card in. So I'm going to measure the right size for the design paper. Don't forget to smooch the edges. And glue it down, but still be careful where you are. Let's say, yeah, this one's better. So this one's the top. So we're going to apply just a little edge and then all the way around. But don't forget, not all the way. Now it's done. Okay. So, bring this on. Here we go. This should be closed the pocket. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we did good. When this is dry, we went good. Yeah, okay. So that leaves us with cutting our paper for the top piece. Let's say. Okay, and what do you think? Shall we make cute little tuck spots on here too? I really like that. This needs just some extra. Yeah, this is way better. Okay, yeah, I think I do. I really like making these little spots. So yeah again just grabbing this piece grab your um, ruler I'm going to make at least one and a half staying away and that is here and then make just a little slightly extra cut and then make a little hole okay and then we have this having cut out and I think yeah let's do this um, on a higher level too for some bigger tag and let's say about here again stay away one and a half centimeter if you want and I want that alrighty pieces off. Right. Okay. Where is my... Here it is. And then we can apply this again. This is the top pocket. So we can glue above the last pocket. 
and then all the way around and at the bottom only the edge okay really, this is so much fun really easy but fun okay what do you think what do you think where are my little cards let's say we use this one um, another color that's nice okay let's put that one and these two cool okay yeah like it and then just make a tag in here when the glue is perfectly dry yep 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 we are going fast so this is looking like this already so the last one yeah i'm going to make exactly the same thing as this one just cutting it open and make some incision and on the back and yeah i will do that so back in one second <laughs> okay um i was doing the last page i already decorated the inside and i think it will be <laughs> an extra touch to do um what i'm going to do right now um <laughs> so use your scraps and let's see how this works so at the bottom we have a magnet so i'm going to apply this piece and now I think I can glue this piece down and I want some extra glue here so what I'm doing is I'm leaving a little gap open on this side to create a little pocket Okay, and now for the next piece, I'm going to use this piece, this light, a wooden piece, and I'm only going to attach the sides. Well, here is still the magnet. So I think, no, this one i totally going to close down. This one I'm going to close down. Yes. Okay. So now I'm getting a bigger one. Like this. And this one I only attach three sizes. Three sides. <laughs> Okay, so we created a pocket on this. Yes, and the next one will be this darker one. And this one I'm only going to attach to the sides. Leave just a little black opening. Okay, now this one we need to cut first in the right position. So that I could only do now when I'm gluing all these down. So, cutting this off, smooching it, And this one I only going to, yeah, I think totally all the way because I'm going to apply all the way. So now what did we just do? Okay, let's see how this goes. 
Um, we have, oh here we have, we have still these little things. Well, this one was a very tiny pocket and this one was a little bigger, as you can see. And if we want, we still can slide something on the back. So, cool, isn't it? I really like how this turns out. Really awesome. So, yeah. Let's say... Let's say I want to use this as a card. Because it can. I suppose. Um, you still can put larger things in here, of course, but yeah, like it. Cool. What do you think? I already put something in here. Yeah. Really cool. Now I only have to do uh, is one piece of this one and then it's done. Okay, get back in one second. Okay, and when it's all done, it looks like this. Do you think? I really like how this turns out. So yeah, we have these little tuck spots and a big tag in it with a photo mat on the back. Slides back in and at the bottom of course you can also put a photo on. Then we have again here a nice little tuck spot and the inside there is a big tag card, whatever you're going to call it, and on the back also a place for photos. Then we have here also two little uh, cutouts where we can put lots of nice little things. Then on the back it's plain and inside I made two photo mats. And then here we have this cute little tuck spots and here is a pocket and here is yeah you can call it a belly band but we really like it and on the back some plain so what do you think I just love how this turns out and it's closed magnetic so cool yeah all right so now we have the let me see the front and the back Um, oh, okay, this should be, well, that's not a problem, because we still can make, this should be on the right side because of the pocket, and this, we just make it a left one. Ta-da! Problem solved. Yep. So this going to be on this side. Yay! What do you think? I really like how this turns out. Cool. So yeah, we have done all pages. And um, so it's time to make the cover. Yay! And I really think that's, that this album is going to be huge. But okay. Really cool. So back in one second to see what size uh, we do want for the cover. Before I'm going to see... Um, oh wait. Alright, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to color my seam binding. Because I want to do a really nice fancy... Um, um, fancy uh, spine. And I did this before, so I'm going to use my Hoxnock seam binding, which I love. I think this will be enough, I hope. Oh, let's make some little more. Yeah, this will do. So I use my Hoxnock and eggshell. So, really cool. And, uh, um... So what I need is I have some handkerchiefs and this one is a little bigger, big but that's no big deal. It's just to save my hands for getting really dirty. 
I have smaller ones, but this one was a little miss by. So, but good use anyway. Okie dokie. So let's smooch it up. I use my glass mat um, just because it's really easy to uh, clean off. Um, I have two uh, pink uh, distress inks. And I think I am going to first do the sponge sugar because I never used it. But I'm going to open this up both so they are really easy to get. And I need some water also. So let's see which color the... and this is the spun sugar. Ooh, this should be nice. Okay, now I really don't know how this color... Cut, why I'm closing this? I want it up, open. Let's see how this color looks like with water. Okay, I am going to attach a little tattered rose. And this color is a little salmon. Salmon color. I think we need more of the sponge sugar. Now adding some water and then we just going to play before it runs out of my table. Oopsie. So first I'm going to mix these two colors. And I think I'm definitely going to use more. But let's see how this turns out. Right now. Okay, definitely going to need more. Because we have a lot of seam binding, of course. But just adding and keep adding till you are satisfied. Gosh, I love this sponge sugar, but we need a lot. Lots. Oh, no. oh, it's getting somewhere. Now it's getting somewhere. What do you think? Cool. And now this is still wet, so when the seam binding is getting dry, of course it will be lighter. Okay, now I need to go. <laughs> Postman! Okay, how far are we? Um, well, here it's just a little white, but I think we did good. It does not need to go especially all over, but yeah, I think I really like it's really delicate, so I'm going to close the pots. Really like this one. Yeah, cool. So you can air dry it, or you can use a heat tool. Well, I'm not going to dry them all with the heat tool, but it's just an option, and you can still squeeze a little. The reason why I like um, coloring my um, my seam binding is you get a more vintage look. If you see the difference, wait, wait just a minute. I let this eye air dry. That's way better. So I let the rest 
R2. So if you can see, and you will see that later, let's, this is um, this color I bought pink. Um, and this one I just colored it. So you see some spots are missing. And that's the reason I really like that. That's, that's more a vintage used um, seam binding. I really like this color. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's leave it like this and when it's all dry it will be lighter than this and I really like this color and it fits perfectly with the collection. So yeah, okay, let's rid of, get rid of my gloves and clean up my mat, really easy with a glass mat. But you see you still have something left so I thought it was be clean already but no 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 always have to clean after yeah cool so let's dry that out let let that dry and then next step is making the cover yeah hmm. okay look what I've got these are all my six pages O M G yes this is huge um i totally went crazy and yeah i can leave a few pages out but hmm i don't want to because they all fit together really nice and even i stick with the four pages i was planning to do then even then it would be enormous but that's not the problem. The problem is, and I totally did not think about it. This is way too huge, way too big to do the one, the one hinge. So the single hinge, that's way too, um, too small. So that will be cracking if I put this in the album and, I, and we will flip through the album that will crack so what i came up for the solution of course there is a solution so let's pick up the black page and leave this this still keeps coming loose but i think when it's all fitting in the album it will stay anyway let's grab a base page and let's make a double a double hinge on it now we still have the waterfall hinge but we have a double so I should have thought of that way earlier but yeah I'm so sorry I just did not okay so well every problem is can is can is is, is can be solved so I'm just grabbing each one I made some extra hinges so yeah just grab one and I'm going to peel it off and I don't measure it yet because I want to do that when it's on so I'm going to apply some glue when there is something coming out <laughs> of course but it's no big of a problem. Problems are really getting to be solved. So no big deal. Okay, so what we're going to do is apply a hinge. And I'm going to start at the bottom, close to the edge. But we don't go over the... over the fold line so let's see how this turns out so when I put this on then I cut out so I have exactly the same measure okay and then we have a double hinge easy as that 
So you can see everything we can solve. So, up to the next one. Peel off my tape. We can do it. Yes, we can. Put some extra glue. So everything will be attached really perfectly. Okay. Starting at the bottom. Or if you want, you can start at the top, of course, and then just crawl all the way up. Cutting the rest off really nice. Okay, so we don't miss any spots of the hinge. Here we go. And so we go on and on till we have all the pages done. Let's go into my pile of pages. And then after we did this, I already cut out my covers. So I will give you the measurements in just a second. So I'll be back in one sec. Okay, the measurements for the cover will be 28 by 10 centimeters. That's the small piece, the spine. And 11 by 4 inches. And then we have 28 by 23 centimeters. And we need two times. And then 11 by 9 inches. Of course, two times. So in centimeters, 28 by 10 and 28 by 23. And in inches, it's 11 by 4 and 11 at 9. Okay, so that leaves us with this. And really, this is going to be a huge album. But I like it. I like, like, like. Let's double check if this fits. Well, we have that extra opening, so we need this space. So this will attach to the spine, and then we have just a little space left, and that's what I like. So it will fit. Okay, well, um, I'm going to make the cover, cover up with black uh, contact paper, and then when I'm finished, I come back to you because I did so many times the cover, so if you don't know how I do it, then just watch one, um, one tutorial back and you will see how I did it, because it's every time exactly the same thing. So, okay, I'll be back in one sec. Alright, I am done with my cover and then it looks like this and I will flip it over in a second. But you see the inside, I kept it plain for just one second just to sh uh, let you see how wide my opening is and I always leave this well for 5 millimeters and this I leave 5 millimeters open. So we have plenty of space to use the spine. Um, okay, the outside. I really like this. I did this once more on my nautical album. And um, I thought, well, well, she is really like shabby and chic and vintage. So I thought, why well, this is screaming on for this uh, pink ribbon so I made a uh, lace kind of thing on the spine so I really like how this turns out and I use these little things 
and they are not the same from the nautical and these are well you can find these at um, these I used um, you can find these at your local hobby uh, store and not particularly a craft store but the one where you have tools and wood and doors and well I forgot the name but find a big store and you will find these because this is normally for hanging uh, a little painting um, so yeah and I got really lucky that they had it in in bronze normally they had it or in silver or in gold but in this store they had it in bronze so I had to grab them <laughs> so I bought uh, a few so I have something left in my stash so I really like these and they were very very cheap but I can't remember which store exactly but please check every um, yeah, store well here in Holland you call it the Gamma or the Karwei or something like that well it, it, it's a huge the, the huge yeah hobby stores I call it because you have everything you have lights you have carpets you have everything and so check the section where you find these things for hanging a painting and then if you get lucky you get the bronze one but the silver and the gold ones are really nice too so okay um yeah so i put first the paper on uh, then i put my bookbinder linen on then i put some extra paper uh, in, in the middle so it won't get too dark in my opinion then I did some lace over the edge from the bookbinders linen and then I put these bronze things on and then I wrap my um, my seam binding as I will do as uh, with my shoes oh my gosh <laughs> yeah and then at the end I did a ribbon and I did this fluffy things this fluffy um, fluffy um, thing on it too really like it so yeah that is the outside and that is the idea what I'm going to do with the outside I like it so now I'm going to do the inside um, putting first the black papers on so I have already cut it out and I'm going to apply these three pages uh, in the middle on the inside and then I get back to you and put the pages in okay okay now is really for me the most exciting part <laughs> putting the um, the pages in and well especially these huge pages um, first I always make um, a little try out to see how wide I want to put them and how far away I want to be from the from the from the spine um, so yeah you going to make and I all oh, well we have six and I could come can I explain yeah so I start in the middle why right? this is uh, four inches for example then the two is the middle and I make the distance from 5 8 every time so not a half inch but a 5 8 so I leave the pages just a little more room for each other because they we I have the space so that's the reason why I did that and I will see how that's how that works with the waterfall hinge and if I don't like it I always can uh, put some uh, design paper over it to cover some things up if I don't like it so that is what I'm going to do so uh, I started at the middle and then make the ga the gap the gaps uh, five eight so that is what I'm going to do so and we have six pages and I'm going to do um, a little uh, different well this is the one with a file folder, then an activity page, activity page, then a file folder page, then again a file folder page, then um, an activity page, 
and the last one will be a file folder page. So that is my order. So let's start with the first one. And I need some tape on it. Thought I already did it on, but oh, no worries. Don't wash this this um, this time of now. Um, this oh my gosh, I have so terrible in words today, guys. Don't wash this time of project. How you call it? No, it's not the word what I was looking for. But if you go too fast doing this, then your complete album is ruined. So that is not what I am intention to. Oh, oh yep, here it is. Don't wash it. Whew, relax. I'm always getting really excited to do this because now the album is coming together and I'm so excited. So I really hope everything turns out exactly as I thought it would be. Well, I hope it does. Okay, so I have my glue on. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be okay. So I make just a little marks so I can, where is my guideline? So I'm covered it up. And I'm going to see if I am cover my marks up and then see if you are straight with this line, with that line, and when you are equal having your space, then you can push. And then the first page is in. Ooh. Okay. So let that dry. Okay. That won't go anywhere. So now comes the um, the activity page. Put some tape on. Peeling it off. Ready. Let's go to page two. Okay. Now we have our guideline. Cover up that little mark so you are straight, but please check the outside. Okay, now again we go having. A file folder page. Why am I calling this a file folder page? Because inside that big pocket we still have that loaded file folder. Do you remember when we did that in the first part? Well I still did not do anything on it because I want to wait it. I want to wait till the last piece so I know how much paper I have left and if I don't have any um, if I don't have much left then I'm going to decide to do something else inside check check oh. forget to turn my phone off oh my god <laughs> yep Burnish that glue, so the glue goes everywhere. Okay, 
And now we have again a file folder page. Here we go. And I'm still doing it with you together. I'm not stop filming. Just go along with me. Or pause me if I go too fast for you. But I'm here. We can do this together. So, the next mark, I'm going to cover it up. Check if it's straight. And burnish it down. Okay. An activity page which I forgot that I do need to glue it down already but no worry there's just one page that I am too excited with to glue it on already but no worries that's just one page can you imagine if you are doing all your decorative pages already on then it will be very very hard to put these pages in in the album and it's it's way easier to put your design papers pages later than when it's already in because they are heavy and things get in the way so that's why I like to that to do that separately Burnish the down. And now we are at the last piece. And my last piece, I normally like to do it on the other side. I meant that then I want my hinge on this side. That is what I normally want to do. But now we all have the file folder. So... So I'm just going to do it all the same way. Yeah, 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 the last one. The last one. So far so good, I think. Oh, this is just very close. Close call. So now I'm really happy that I left a nice big gap between the spine and the back cover. So now this is not getting in the way. Whew. Really close call. That's the reason also why I normally, when I do a waterfall hinge, that I will do the last one inside. So I turn that page up. But I did not do it. Okay. So they are all in. Ooh. Okay. And now we have to grab our design papers and put them in. So what do you think? But it looks like this. And it fits. Of course it fits. I measured it. <laughs> Yay! 
yeah okay looks pretty damn good now before I go with the design papers um, what to do about this well it's all black so I don't mind looking at this little piece I don't mind at all actually so what do you think but if you don't like it and perhaps it is nicer to do it well the last piece you can't no I will leave it it's black black on black and you really don't see it well if you noticed it but no I'm just going to leave it like this it's black on black and it's really not not good to see so I will leave it yeah so I um, have to figure out the order which I want to put it in but yeah you, you know the basic you just grab your design papers and you just start with every page you like and let's say we're going to start with this one you glue it on and then go to the back and do the other one on of course and so go on and on in every order you like okay I'm so excited really hope that the pages are not too thick that's definitely not was able to if I did one hinge the, the, the single hinge then it would never never then the page is all going to be sitting like this <laughs> and don't do this okay so thank god I did my extra hinges on okay yeah all right so um, I get back to you when I get back to you when I get my pages in and then we do the inside covers okay um, I put all the design papers in and it's already huge um, I like it but I definitely not going to do anything on the inside um, because it's really fat this is really a fat album and the pages are not quite um, flat at all even with the double um, hinge but I still like it I still and you, you still can uh, do enough but gosh it's fat 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 this is a very fat album and this really it's keep coming loose so I think I get rid of it and don't do any closure with that because this is still getting loose but I leave it up to the woman who gets this just cut it off girl if you don't like this every time but it really and I think it will flat the pages also quite yeah I'm going to do this for you this is really really too much yeah decided to do that because it's just no use when it's still coming off so this page is not that really thick so um, I think this is way way better okay yeah but all in all I really like how this turns out we need some uh, decoration paper on the back for this page and um, but I really like it yeah this is going to cut this off too I really don't like this I'm so sorry and it was a lot of work but I don't I hate it I just hate it and I'm just going to throw it away there we go okay um, so yeah I'm just going to put some design paper on the inside nothing and more on it because it, it really is enough put some design paper on here and then for the very very last thing we need to do is the booklets and I made these quite thick for photos 
and now the book is already really thick so I'm de desperately going to seek what, what the best way is um, but yeah that's the final touch and I really like it how it turns out it's really fat but when you go through the album um, it will go really well so wow this is enormous look <laughs> This is enormous, guys. I think this is the biggest album in a portrait style. The Amelia Rose was a landscape style, but guys, I really like this too. All right, so yeah, a few things we need to be done, but we can do that off camera. And um, yeah, see you real soon with the end results. Alright, um, I finished it up and I will give you a real tour, real show tour how it all ends but for those who follow this tutorial, real quick, um, I made on the front a frame, a C2 frame and frame and inside they can put a nice photo in and then put it back in but for now I made this nice touch um, then what I changed when I did um, every page in at the beginning of the tutorial I made a pretty large booklet but I changed that because the pages are really fat already and I counted the place for photos and now I've done there is room for um, 150 photos so that's plenty so I did not need that big fat photo mat because it really gets too fat and, and so I changed it in just one single sheet and I placed um, the photo mats on here and decorate it with some design paper so the big booklet I left out so yeah for the rest we all see how it goes and yeah there's only one thing left for me to do and that's making a nice total video so okay thanks for joining me and um, hope to see you next time for the next tutorial and Happy crafting! Alright, let's make the total.